Absolutely, Graham. Fashion has completely taken over our Expresso morning show. Of course, it is SA Menswear Week. We've got two of South Africa's most talented designers, Lukanyo Mdingi and Nicholas Kutz in studio. Now, the two of you are just taking the country and the world by storm. Of course, one of your collections has already received acclaim at the Generation Africa Showcase in Italy. And of course, you're going to be showing tonight a full collection at SA Menswear Week. Good morning, gentlemen. So morning. good to have you here. How are you? I must say, I feel like I'm surrounded by stars because that's what you certainly are. <laughs> Let me start off with uh, Nicholas, very yes. first. Why did you guys decide to join forces and co-design this new menswear collection? Well, Lacanya and I have been friends since our Rising Star competition, and I think it was an harmonious alliance between the two brands, yeah. and I think it worked out pretty great. I think yeah. so too. I think so if the rest of the world and South Africa think so. Uh, Lucanio, let me ask you this question. How uh -huh. would you describe your winter line? What was your source of inspiration? Well, um, Nicholas and I pr pretty much just took a look at the African landscape and see, um, just try to see ways and how we can filter that down into something that is wearable and um, cohesive. So we wanted to create a collection that's based on sophistication and luxury, yeah. also using textures and things that are tacked on fabrications that embodied things like trees and um, our natural landscape. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's bring some of your models in because I think the country yeah. needs to see what we're <laughs> talking about over here. How would you describe your collection for winter 2016 based on what we're seeing here right now? Okay, so um, like I repeated before, we just wanted something that's very fresh and clean, yeah. but um, exploring textures as well. So nice. when Nicholas and I embarked on this journey, we mm. wanted something that's very cohesive. Yeah, just something very sophisticated, kind of like a laid-back li lifestyle um, collection. Yeah. Yeah. Now you both are former Al Rising stars, receiving of course connect, uh, recognition for design and talent yeah. and creative vision. What do you think has been the response to menswear in South Africa? Where do you think we're going from here? To be honest, I think we're only moving forward. Mm. And um, the more that we empower each other, the more that the country actually gets contributed with um, what they see of African um, menswear designers, in fact designers overall. Yeah. So it's great. Do you yeah. think the local industry is becoming braver with regards yes. to menswear? No, I do think so. And Menswear Fashion Week is definitely proving that. Yeah, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Lucanio. Thank you so much, Nicholas, thank you for so joining thank us. You so much. Any yeah. last words for maybe uh, uh, one of the male designers out there, even women looking to yeah. design menswear, what would you say to them? Um, I would just say continue. It's a lot of mm. hard work and um, it's just important to have a sense of perseverance and passion and love for it mm. because it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely about passion and just be brave. Wonderful. Yeah. Who, which shows are you guys perhaps looking forward to seeing tonight and over the rest of the weekend? Um, definitely the young designers, mm -hmm. I would have to say. No, the emerging too. creators are, are always quite sensational. Yeah. Absolutely. It makes me excited about the future of fashion in South Africa. Thank you so much, gentle me. gentlemen. We are going to be Thank catching you. up with more fashion, especially men's fashion, a little, bit, a little bit later on in the show. It is your front row seat to the hottest looks. It's time to find out what else is happening on your Feel Good Breakfast show.